Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. Uh, this is episode 63 of Horizon Zero Dawn. So this is the map, wow, that's the fourth level. Okay, so that's where we currently are. Nope, nope. Okay, uh huh. What I'm thinking, maybe we should do the proximity bomb. Uh, wow, they've got. Uh, hold on. Uh, you know, can we do two things at once? Meaning, we can accomplish two things uh, at once using the shadow sling. The blasting. Uh, can we multiple enemies with a single blast bomb? I don't think we can do that. Trip machines with blast wires. Nope. How about sling? Freeze. No. Uh, hard your car just sling. Uh, shock machines. No. Maybe just the blast sling, right? With the blast bombs. I don't know. I I don't think. I think these guys. I don't think these guys are weak enough. So that's sticky bomb. That's a blast bomb. Those are proximity bombs. What we can do is let's try to blast bombs. But let's go with the proximity. They're giving up. Look out, it's her. This is what? Proximity? Got you located. Oh, they're doing the same flavor to us, huh? Ouch. Doing the same thing that we're doing. You know what? What are we using? Uh, blast bomb. Oh, that would be a good time. A <laughs> good time to do it. Nope. You can see them. They can't see you. Ah! 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 
Whoa! Oh, these guys are tough. What should we do? Uh, how about uh, no, sticky bombs? No. Found them. <laughs> uh, she went that way. Okay, that wasn't done very well. Now, if we can use this one, should give me the upper hand. What is this? Wow. No, not that one. Uh, let's pick this one up first. Shock trap. Oh, okay. No. Okay, let's pick this one up. Death bring oh that's a death bringer gun. Okay, let's check out this area. Oh, we could have come up here. <laughs> and jump down. up there like a control room okay wow this place is interesting I'll find a use for you. Let's check the other side. Wow, 
these tanks. This is the armory, but uh, yeah, there are no. Uh, they're just heavy, heavy equipment. Not. Uh, what if we meet up with a Deathbringer? Oh boy, we already met a Deathbringer, and that one we were able to uh, cheese it. This time might be different. Going down fast. Jeez. <laughs> so we're forced to swim. This is amazing. Aloy is so uh, light on her feet. Oh, these are the hollow projectors? Ames, I know I mail you too much. I'm just proud of what you're doing. Everyone back home is. We got moved inland 10 kilometers, just as a precaution, they say. School's still in session, so I get to keep my eye on Andreas and Reggie. We never know where or when you're fighting, but when the VTOLs go over, all the kids run out and wave. I believe in you. I know nothing's ever going to be the same, but I believe in you. I believe in us. Wow, this guy is lucky. Very supportive wife. How about this one? Ames, I don't even know if you're alive anymore. The mails I get from you, they say they're from you, but they don't sound... They sound recycled. Phrases uh -oh. put together, and you don't say anything about the news I pass on. The containment zone, the rebreathers, the rioting, one earth. What happened in the Dallas bubble, Ames? That wasn't the robots. They won't even give me a straight answer when I demand to know if you're still alive. They just say if your messages keep coming, then you're still operational. It's not fair, Ames. It's not fair that you won't be with me when the lights go out. I love you. That's so sad. Yeah, that's so sad. And of course... Thanks for the mails, you. Time goes fast in active duty. Four months with the wreck and recalls. Fighting with these civilian enlistees. Scrappy guys and gals. That's all coming together. Between us and the 6th MRB, we took down a horse. I hope you made the news, honey. Showed everyone we're turning this around. We just need to give Project Zero Dawn the time it needs. I thought we heard that before. I know it's been days, honey. I'm so sorry. Deployments are uh, getting real long. We have to put into work for everyone. Like a family business, I still see you in the eyes of the people out there. They were glad to see us. They still had hope. I'm still fighting for you. That's the same message we saw downstairs. Status report. 9th Mechanized Response Brigade, Commanding Officer Lieutenant Fiona Morell. Unit morale continues to be adversely impacted by outbound engagements against the Pharaoh Plague. Especially when said engagements occur in sectors where civilian guard enlistees have been heavily engaged. The scope and nature of fatalities suffered by civilian guard and unarmed civilians in these sectors defy description. Whoa. And witnessing it is generating a pervasive sense of hopelessness in the unit. Accordingly, I once again request that deployments of the 9th MRB be temporarily refocused on facilities that are mission critical to Project Zero Dawn. And once again, 
I request an immediate update on the status of Project Zero Dawn's timeline. Wow. That means... Forget about the uh, civilians. And remember, the uh, mechs can uh, repair themselves with biomass. And so that is absolutely, absolutely disgusting. This is a conference room. It's a conference room. Okay, we need to operate the console. Okay, let's check the console. What is this? That? It's a map. A map of what? Our world. The planet Earth, Aloy. It's not flat like you thought. Why would I think that? During eclipses, the shadow cast on the moon is curved. So our world is a globe. And it looks like this, from a distance. We'll discuss this another time. Back to the matter at hand. The Faro robots were spreading across the world. Eating everything up. Somehow, Elizabeth stopped them before it was too late. But how? But how? Okay, so... Oh, we were down there before, right? Was that the armory? I think that's the armory. How about this? Let's make sure we explore everything. that thing is that the Horus remember that's the one that makes machines the Eclipse tampering with a metal devil they don't think they can wake it do they I think that's the Horus watch out Oh, yes! Oh, no, that's Deathbringer. Sun Shadow. Another Kopish, and this one can move. supposed to be fighting that thing and jeez oh, kill the deathbringer and the eclipse troops wow we sure have the upper hand but uh Oh, 
wow this is this is going to be very difficult can we climb up here no that's only a design it's actually not climbable Check on this side. Jeez, they actually got the machine Horus rappel down. I don't think so. I don't want to rappel down. Okay, let's check how many people are there. That's three people. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Oh, and that's five. Oh, six. What is that thing on the back? Let us check our notebook. Jeez, wish oh, I wish we have the the Deathbringer repeater cannon. Where is it? Cooling rods, that's what, what we use to uh, destroy it. Oh, it's got a flamethrower. It's a, got a grenade launcher. Ouch. It's a gun turret. Ouch. I think the repeater cannon. Why doesn't it show? Destroying this component disables the repeater cannon attacks. But it still has a flamethrower. It's a grenade launcher. And it's a gun turret. Oh, a swarm launcher. What, what was the... Ouch. Repeater cannon turret. Ouch. I don't see where it is. Swarm launcher. Okay. These are stabilizers. See, it doesn't say where it is. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Core. Okay, cooling rods. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta hit those things. Ouch! I, 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 I don't like this. This is shaping it to be. Pretty, pretty bad. Okay, this is gonna be a long fight, so, uh... So, what we can do is actually set down a bunch of proximity bombs. So that if, uh, when they come, except... See, except the, uh... See, what can we do? Uh, these are... Oh, it doesn't get there, right? Okay, there goes our timer. So, let me cut the episode right here. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you will join me in the next episode. Bye!